AT&T has brought back the ability to add on hotspot plans to your Smartphone Unlimited plan, and they brought back overage fees. Hi there, I'm Cherie with the Mobile Internet Resource Center, and it has been a busy news week, especially with AT&T. And as we were confirming the new unlimited elite changes, in which the mobile hotspot cap on smartphones was increased to 40 gigabytes per month, we discovered that you can now also add on hotspot devices to smartphone plans. Now, a little bit of history here. Before, you were able to add on hotspot plans, and even in, back in 2017 and 18, you could add on a hotspot to your unlimited smartphone plan and get actual unlimited hotspot use off of a data-only device for just $20 per month. That option retired in 2018, and when AT&T did that, they also remove the ability to add on a hotspot device at all to your smartphone plan. You had to get those services a la carte on separate plans. Well, it seems that they have quietly added this feature back in. We don't know when it happened, but we did just discover it this week. And the option now is $25 per month to add on a hotspot to your smartphone unlimited plan, but it is capped at 15 gigabytes of high speed use. But get this. Do you remember the days where you got overage charges if you went above your cap data plan? They brought that back. Now, if you go beyond your 15 gigabytes, instead of just slowing down your service like we've all gotten used to, they're going to start automatically charging you $10 for two extra gigabytes of data and keep charging it until you quit using it. And there's seems to be no way to shut off this billing. We checked with several chat reps and representatives with AT&T and they all confirm it's just automatic billing, no way to shut it off, no way to put a cap on how much billing you want on it. So those overcharges can add up pretty darn quickly. And it's kind of odd because AT&T just a couple months ago launched a hotspot plan on their prepaid service for $55 per month with 100 gigabytes of high speed use and then it slows down to 120 eight kilobits per second, or you can optionally add on more data. And they also offer on their Data Connect postpaid plans for $75 a month, you get 40 gigabytes of high speed mobile hotspot use on postpaid, so it's higher priority than prepaid. And then that one also just slows down when you hit your cap. So use extra caution if you're shopping AT&T and going to get those uh, unlimited smartphone plans, especially that new unlimited elite plan that was just announced this week with no network management on the smartphone sign. If you're offered to add on a hotspot device to your plan, just know it is 15 gigabytes and there's overage charges. So definitely have a game plan for monitoring your data usage and shutting off your device so you don't rack up those overage charges on it. We personally don't think this is really a great deal. It's probably a better deal to consider one of the alternative options for mobile hotspot use. Go check our top plans guide where we have all of the current options listed there that we consider to be the best options as a home internet replacement for our viewers and cruisers. Uh, yeah, so interesting, overage charges are back. I hope this is not a trend that we're going to be seeing going forward. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.